two or three names if you have them within your coverage and if you have a view on what their earnings or the halo effect on them could be i believe some of them you do have so you know you spoke about how rank and out of how rank outperformer mahindra and mahindra has been right does this ev halo effect stay on mnm and kind of he give give it buoyancy earnings buoyancy as well as uh, the sentiment buoyancy you think i think it is quite possible niraj and look at it this way after all the rally it has had it is still trading at 15 times right so um, you know the margin of safety is very high there of course it's a slight bit of cyclicality which is inherent given the tractor business but i think they are getting the product life cycle run some of their products have been blockbusters and if tractor uh, industry starts doing a little bit better than what it is for now then you still have room for upside there right uh, so despite the rally of 40 50% that you have seen in cy22 so far uh, your valuations are still in your favor got it is a small cap or a mid cap specialty chemical stock which i believe you have in your portfolio wherein the earnings surprise got yeah. fine organics i mean there was a blockbuster reaction to that too and it is probably not a very cheap stock either but the earnings were rock solid what do you Absolutely. make of the numbers Yeah, I mean the numbers were blowout. You know, two years back they were reporting profits in the range of 30, 40 crores for the quarter. This quarter, I think they reported about 150, 160 crores. So that's what I said when I spoke about specialty chemicals. It's very difficult to get a handle on their quarterly uh, numbers because the margins fluctuate a whole lot, and then that flows through to the bottom line. But the execution has been phenomenal. The other name which we like in that space is Clean Science. Very small again, recent listing. but next two years our uh, estimate seems to suggest that the profits are going to double and the roe is upward of 30% and, and you might be conservative possible uh-huh. uh, <laughs> you know these things change very rapidly depending on where the input costs go but more importantly they are in a category and segment which is very niche right so therefore the threat of competition is quite limited in that segment for where they are Right. So uh, yeah, specialty chemicals uh, has been a star performer last three four years, and the 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 journey has just begun because their sizes are still very low. Got it. My final question, and we've spoken about consumption a number of times. I wanted to understand if you do have thoughts on PVR or Inox or the PVR Inox combined, because here's a, a monopoly, so to say, but uh, we do see near term Bollywood kind of faltering a little bit. the last few releases haven't been great and who knows the sentiment around that therefore yeah actually you're right and it's an interesting uh, you know proposition to evaluate uh, you know the two big daddies of that sector combining gaining scale and consolidation maybe it will help them price their product slightly better uh, but see neeraj just to counter that point on bollywood while bollywood has faltered for a variety of reasons you've seen south making a big dent right and and uh, the consumption of south based blockbuster films has gone up big time whether it is on multiplexes or on ott platform so uh, you know and 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 uh, like it or not pvr is the only name available in that space today so if you have to play that opportunity it's not as if you are juggling between multiple choices like in other sectors like banks it or consumption uh, here if you have to bet on it that's the only uh, worthwhile play which is available today 